I start by weighing the two iron salts into a 400 milliliter beaker. First I add 1.00 grams of ammonium iron 2 sulfate into the beaker. And then I need to weigh out 1.38 grams of the second iron compound which is iron 3 chloride. I have a mixture of iron 2 and iron 3 salts in my beaker. I add 150 milliliters of distilled water into the beaker. And stir the mixture to get a solution. Once everything is dissolved, I start adding ammonia solution to my iron solution. As soon as I add ammonia, magnetite is formed, which you can see as black precipitate. I have to add ammonia until no more magnetite is being formed. This is quite difficult to determine as the solution looks black already and it goes from black to darker black really. Once I have added enough ammonia there should not be any iron 3 ions left in the solution so the supernatant should be colorless rather than yellow. To help the magnetite coagulate, I put the beaker onto a hot plate and heated the solution onto just under boiling temperature. And here we can see the magnetite coagulating and settling at the bottom of the beaker. The next step is to neutralize the solution with 2 molar hydrochloric acid. I prepare some strips of litmus paper and then I add a milliliter or two of the hydrochloric acid into my solution, give it a good stir and check the pH with the litmus paper. If the litmus paper turns pink then my solution is at neutral or acidic. This might take a few tries. The next step is to set up the vacuum filtration. So I clamp my vacuum flask, attach the vacuum hose, attach the other end to the vacuum outlet, take my Büchner funnel, put it on top of the flask and add my filter paper. I turn on the vacuum and then I carefully pour my solution into the Büchner funnel. In this case I try to pour off most of the supernatant first and try to avoid getting the magnetite into the funnel as the product is very fine and will clog the filter paper very quickly. Only when I have poured most of the solution through the funnel, I give it a little swirl to try to transfer my magnetite. The last little bit will be transferred with a little bit of extra distilled water. And this is enough for the transfer and also for washing the product. Once all the solution has run through the filter, I remove the product together with the filter paper and put it onto a watch glass. This gets put into a 100 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes until it's dry. The dried product gets transferred into a vial. 
and then I hold a magnet to the outside of the vial to check whether my product is magnetic or not. 